in, in the whole history of uh, the United States, the impact of racism has been to attempt to contain black people, has been to attempt to stifle the uh, uh, desires towards liberation. One of the ways in which this is accomplished is by trying to convince black people that they're completely powerless before this huge apparatus. It's built into the system. It's built into, uh, it's, it, it's, it's built into the nature of the society. And getting back to the question of what a revolutionary is, a rev black revolutionary realizes that uh, we cannot begin to combat racism. We cannot begin to effectively destroy racism until we've destroyed the whole system. How do we protect ourselves in this moment? How do we, yes, respond to the terrible, terrible crimes against humanity? And yet also, how do we build a vision? A vision where we can imagine black people living, black people thriving, where part of the work that we're doing is not just responding to our death, but actually developing something that has the ability to raise my child, to raise my child's child and his children's children. We're not fighting so hard because we want to fight so hard. We're fighting so hard because we have a vision. We have a vision for what we deserve, for what every single human being, animal being, plant being deserves. And when you think about Black Lives Matter, remember that our movement is about imagining, imagining a world where black folks are actually free.